We shall prove one more theorem on connected spaces, which is uh, the closure of a connected set is connected. The closure of a connected space or connected set is connected. The closure. Okay. Yeah. Let us take uh, a topological space X tau and let us take a subset which is connected, let C be a connected subset of this topological space. And let Y be any subset in between C and C bar. Let Y be any subset in between C and C bar. C bar is the closure of C. And remember, we have to prove that uh, closure of that C is connected. Okay, so we are taking any subset in between C and C bar. C is anyway connected. We have to prove that this Y is connected. This Y is connected. And any subset between uh, C and C bar is connected. Therefore, uh, you know, in particular case, C bar is subset of C bar itself. So C bar will be connected. That is at the end, right? Now, we have to first prove that Y is connected. We have to prove any subset in between C and C bar is connected, okay? Suppose Y is not connected. That means Y as a separation. That means I can write down Y as union of two separated, non-empty separated sets. Right. So I've written Y as union of A and B. A and B are non-empty. And they are separated sets. That means what? Uh, A bar intersection B equal to null. And uh, A intersection B bar A is equal to null. Okay. Right. Now, what is our C? C is connected subset of Y. Y as a separation, we have a theorem. C is either completely in A and C is completely in B. Right? We have that theorem. So, using that theorem, we get C is completely in A or C is completely in B by using one of the theorems. Whenever C is contained in A, we have C bar is contained in A bar. And uh, whenever C is contained in B, we have C bar is contained in B bar. Now, first case, suppose, first case, if C bar is contained in A bar, okay, we'll take intersection with B on both sides, fine. So for this, we have taken intersection with B on both sides. And so we got C bar intersection B is contained in A bar intersection B and A bar intersection B is null. So we got this is contained in null set. That means equal to null. So C bar intersection B is null. We'll call it as one. Okay. Now next, what is our Y? Y is subset of uh, C bar. Our Y is subset of B, C bar. Remember, we have chosen Y in such a way that Y is in between uh, C and C bar. So Y is subset of C bar. And also we have uh, B is subset of Y. Definitely B is subset of Y because our uh, Y is A union B, right? Definitely B is subset of Y. So B is subset of Y, Y is subset of C bar. So therefore, what is uh, C bar intersection B? We got this. So what is this C bar intersection B? C bar intersection B, since B is a subset of C bar, it has to be equal to B, right? So call it as two. Now compare one and two, look at one and two. One is telling me what? C bar intersection B is equal to null. And two, I'm getting C bar the same. C bar intersection B is equal to B, right? So that implies what? That implies this null set equal to this B. So I've got B equal to null set, which is definitely a contradiction because our B is non-empty. Similarly, if you take the other case, right? If uh, C bar is contained in B bar, okay, in the same, uh, you know, lines, uh, we'll take intersection with A on both sides, right? And we go, uh, this uh, B bar intersection A is equal to null. So I get this C bar intersection A is null, called as equation three. On the same lines, Y is subset of C bar and A is subset of uh, B. I mean, in whatever the previous part we had, no, we have to take now A. Right. So A is contained in Y that is contained in C bar. Therefore, C bar intersection A is A. So comparing three and four, comparing three and four, this null set 
has to be equal to a. So a equal to null set because this is a contradiction because a cannot be null set. A is non-empty set. So why we are getting these contradictions? Because we assume it is disconnected. Y is disconnected. So therefore, Y cannot be disconnected. It has to be connected. So any subset in between C and C bar is connected. In particular case, our uh, C bar, in the place of Y, we can put C bar. C bar is again a subset of C bar. So C bar is also connected. So closure of a connected set is connected. Hence the theorem.